All right, so if this device did not have the seat, I would just board it from the back as usual. This is how to get in and out of the Tech RMD with the fold away transfer seat. So essentially what I'm gonna do is pull it up and just let it fold down. And there's the seat ready to go. Uh, I will set the cushion on the seat. That's kind of the first step. Now one thing to, to keep an eye on with the angle you're gonna to use to get into it, um, there is gonna be a little bit of a gap here. So um, some people will use a, a transfer board or if they're comfortable just bridging that gap on their own, they can do that as well. So I'll use the transfer board to kind of show. Uh, essentially what I'm gonna do is just get in and slide myself over, bring my legs into the foot supports. I can use the device up here to hold on if I need to. And once I'm on that seat, then I'm just gonna pull the transfer board out. I've got the cushion underneath me. So at that point, I can bring the device back to me and actually get into it. So I'm just gonna bring this all the way back where it's nice and snug. And then I'm gonna loosen the belt straps on each side the same way you would if you were getting in it from the back. Send those through the holes. I'm going to tighten those up just the same as I always would. To the point that it's starting to toss me up off the seat. And then I'm going to do the additional back support. Again, some people will use this, some people will not. So it kind of just depends on your preference. Uh, but once I'm in, my belt straps are nice and tight, I can start to stand up. Now instead of having that seat sit in the way, as I start to stand up, I can fold it up and it'll slide out of the way. So as I navigate in the device, the seat's not sticking up behind, it's tucked away out of the way. So then when I'm ready to lower myself back down, either to get out or to get in more of a sitting position. And as I bring the device back down, I can reach up and pull that seat back down and then lower myself right onto the seat. And then again, if I want to get out of the device completely, a lot of it's the same as, as you would any other. You can loosen those belt straps on each side. through and I'll just tighten them up so they're not swinging around. Same thing on this side. And I showed you using the transfer board. The other thing that, that I've seen some folks do is actually kind of use the device to help prop them up to scoot over until they're back in their chair. And that can be done from a wheelchair, from a kitchen chair, couch, any, any of the same type of things that you would normally board from, but instead of boarding it directly from the back, you'll be doing a side transfer onto the seat. And again, that seat folds away just by lifting up and it'll slide down, tuck behind your calves, and then when you want it back, just lift up and let it fall down.